Pemi. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about PaySafe, uh, which is one of the online payment systems that uh, we cover here on the channel when they announced that they were going to go public through a Spark. So ever since um, we talked about it, the company had completed the merger and changed the ticket symbol uh, to which is right now PSFE. So that's the new ticket symbol for PaySafe. So they're not trading uh, publicly. So I um, want to kind of give you guys some context here and some predictions uh, moving forward. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So, guys, uh, we covered PaySafe here when they made the announcement that they were going to go public uh, through a Spark. So we did a detailed video there where I kind of break down what the company does and uh, where they, they started and where they are today. And at that point, I said this is going to be a good long term buy. But since then, uh, we've seen the market uh, here in 2021 kind of go up and down. And right now, the pullback in the market is not only impacting other companies. PaySafe is also a victim of that pullback. So again, with every pullback means there's an opportunity for you to buy long term. You don't want to be the guy that's chasing that you're buying at the top. And then when the market pulls back, you don't have any money. So if you want to be the person that invests long term, the goal is always to find every dip and buy it. You don't have to wait just every time there's a dip, you buy. And so right now, PaySafe is really sounding the alarm to buy. I personally, um, I'm holding PaySafe, and this is for long term. And again, um, a great opportunity to continue to add to my position um, where PaySafe is currently at. Let's take a look at it real quick. So right now, PaySafe is currently trading at under $14, so 1387 which to me, I think that is a great place uh, to buy. Uh, so far, I've seen some um, analyst projections are looking at about $25 uh, dollar price point uh, to start with. So if that's the case, uh, at $13.86, that's just almost um, doubling your investment, uh, just going straight into this particular stack. So uh, before we actually uh, really jumped in, let's go back uh, into PaySafe and just kind of take a talk a little bit about the company. So uh, PaySafe to me has... Um, some qualities that uh, a lot of people don't really cover right here uh, on YouTube. So I want us to really uh, take an in-depth. So if we go here, we'll look at what they offer um, as far as their, their cat, they, they do online cash payments, uh, they do digital wallets, they also integrated payments. So you can actually integrate them with your own particular uh, software. Uh, you can uh, do online payments. So we're talking about e-commerce. Uh, like uh, Shopify and all the other um, uh, platforms that you can actually integrate um, online payment. So, uh, but the one area where PaySafe to me is really strong is the fact that they are number one in iGaming eCash network. So they lead that space. Again, we're talking about a lot of people that play games online, Fortnite, Twitch, uh, uh, Spotify, all those different uh, platforms, um, people use PaySafe uh, for payments to go in and out, uh, which is excellent for them. And then they're number two in global store value digital wallet. So again, positioning themselves uh, with companies that uh, do in the space of um, online betting, like DraftKings and stuff like that. So you will see them come in really strong. And there's another one here called Bet365. So all those other companies are potential uh, uh, places where PaySafe would continue to make uh, do business. And as more and more um, states uh, open up to online uh, gambling or online betting, you would see PaySafe continue to spread into that. And then they are number four in uh, independent matching um, uh, acquirer in the United States. So we're talking about uh, eToro, um, Norwegian Cruise, and then a bunch of other companies that they, they do partner with. So, I mean, uh, just being ranking top five in a lot of these categories already is setting them up to be a great company or a great potential um, for returns. And then the other thing that I want to mention here is that just from a global um, volume processing standpoint, they did over $92 billion in payment, in payment volume in 2020. That is 
crazy. So you did, and they're looking for that number to actually continue to grow as they continue to bring in more partners and continue to expand um, their business. So those are some of the key things that uh, when I look at the company, I see um, a, gr- a, a good future uh, with this company. And again, the company has been around for a long time since our 1996. So again, that just show you uh, some history uh, where there's continuity and, and people and that trust. So uh, what do I think about PaySafe? I think uh, definitely PaySafe as a good company, um, not for a, a quick return, but for a long term. Um, when you have to be patient with this one, buy it and put it in your long term portfolio. Uh, for me, I have it in my kids' portfolio. And so I know they don't need the money anytime soon. They're only three and four. So by the time they need the money, it's come, it would have grown to a substantial amount. So buy and just let it go. Uh, but if you bought in, even when the stock was trading at about, uh, let's say, $15 or so, let's just go back here uh, a month. So see, it was over $16. If you bought here, uh, my advice to you is just to average your way into the stock. Take advantage of these dips and average your way into the stock. And really, that what, what they do, we call dollar cost average and bring your, your average down to maybe 14 or 15 um, if that's the case for you. So that would help you down the road so that when this company bounces back and then you're sitting pretty good. Again, that price target of $25 is out there. A lot of analysts are looking at that $25 price point, uh, target price. And again, you have to um, hear, I'm not just looking for that quick win. I'm looking long term. So I'm going to hold it and, and just ride it and see where it goes. So let me know again in the comment section what you guys think about this. Um, did you buy PaySafe before the merger? And again, like I said, the merger just happened. Uh, I think that was March 30th. And then the ticket symbol, they switched uh, to PSFE. Did you buy it before then? If yes, are you averaging in or uh, did you kind of get out and then they're looking to get in? If not, if you're not in the stock, I'll say this is definitely a good place to start looking. And this one is a long-term buy. It's not uh, something to just look for a quick win. Um, it's, I'm not swing trading this one. I'm holding long-term. I usually would tell you guys when I'm swing trading, in this case, I'm just buying a hole and let it ride. So let me know again in the comment section what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing, guys, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks, links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.